Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to our Minecraft Let's Play. Behind me, guys, you just saw something we built in the last episode, the M-Town Museum of Art. Of course, we finished that and finished the outside, so finally the exterior of this building is complete. And on the other side of me, you saw Marty McMayer's massive mayoral office. And I want to tell you guys that, yes, we will come back and work on this this episode. I'm just gathering up enough quartz and resources so we can continue this build. But today... I want to start a new build, and that's actually going to be like our penthouse in the city. So if we come down the street from Marty McMayer's massive mayoral office and, of course, the M-Town Museum of Art, we come to an intersection right here. And on the other side of this intersection is where I want to start the penthouse. So it's essentially going to start right here. I got some ideas for it, and I think it's going to look pretty cool, and it will be M-Town's first ever skyscraper. So I want to go ahead and get started right off the rip today and just start building. So let's go ahead and just get the bottom of this little building in. Uh, I'm going to say little, but it's not going to be little. All right, let's go ahead and get started. see behind us we got a good amount done already so this build is going up rather easy and i think i jinxed myself last episode by saying that but this build is going up rather easy um basically these things took the longest because i'm building up you know above soil so of course i had to go chase blocks but other than that we have our supports in and this is basically the bottom part of the structure now we just start going up so basically it's just gonna be white terracotta and then i'm gonna add a detail block within that i don't know which one exactly and also there's not really going to be too much in this building until we get to the top two floors because that's like going to be my base the rest of the stuff is just gonna be a farm so we can kind of make it look like you know there's rooms quote unquote but really it's just going to be uh, just, you know, farms. So we can go ahead and do that. And this building isn't quite as big as the other ones. Like I'm kind of used to building, you know, these massive structures that take up a whole city block. So I think I might just cut this block in half and add an extra road in here. And then that way we can go like up here. And I might add like a tennis court or something next to my penthouse. Or I might build another one of these. So that's a possibility. I'm not 100% sure because I do know if I build another one, like I really don't need the space because this is basically just going to be a storage room and like place to sleep and, you know, so on and so forth and just get farms. And I don't think I'm really going to need too, too much of anything in the second one. So I might just make a parking lot and maybe like I might make a tennis court and a small little like walkthrough or something, but I'm not going to make this place like super huge. Maybe put a swimming pool over here if I make it a full block. I don't really know yet, but as for the skyscraper, they're going to keep going up now. And like I said, it's going to be, I think about six floors and each floor is going to be six high. So we should uh, be fairly tall, but not like super, super high. So I'm going to go ahead and take a nap and start building again. Well, that about does it for the white terracotta that we had all stored up. And as you can see, we basically got one wall done. I mean, which isn't bad because that's only like nine stacks of terracotta, which sounds like a lot, but really, I mean, when you have insta mine, it doesn't take too, too long. It's just making it actually turn white because I don't think white spawns naturally. It might, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but we went ahead, got this done. I laid down, of course, some more street, uh, laid down some more sidewalk, made it so I can bring my car in here. You know, maybe I got my Lambo or my Ferrari. We can go ahead and just, you know, sneak them under here, park underneath this. And I have decided on the swimming pool and the tennis court and the little like parking lot kind of thing. So this block will be a hair bigger and we'll just go ahead and add those in those won't be too too complicated in theory uh i also went ahead and planned out the roads for back here so we actually have m town planned ahead which is that's nice because that never happens so uh i'm gonna go mine get more of this and then like i said this is going to be two stories taller guys so this is not the final height but this is what it's starting to look like now as for like actually being able to get into the building of course i have an elytra and 99.9% .9 of the time i have an elytra so getting into here i'm just going to use the top and have like a little 
landing pad, helicopter pad, because, I mean, who doesn't want a helicopter, right? Everybody does. But down here, I think I'm just going to put two water elevators in, maybe in the corner, just make them glass and go up. One will go to the farm section, one will go to my penthouse. So I'll just make it quick, simple, and easy. And like I said, I know most of M-Town is realistic builds, like this is the New York City Mayor's Office, this is the Philadelphia Museum of Art, but we're going to take some liberties with this one and have some fun with it, because, you know, it is still Minecraft after all, and it's still, you know, just a game. So let's have some fun with it, let's build this up, and uh, let's go mining, and let's get some more resources. You know, it's funny, because I have to always watch back, like, the latest clip before I start like filming for the day because these videos are filmed over the course of a week. If you guys haven't figured out, it's probably why my voice always sounds so different because in the last video or the last clip, I should say, I sounded so tired when I was talking about, you know, going mining and everything like that, but I'm actually really excited to go mining and that's what I'm doing today. Um, it's just gathering all the resources and, you know, mining that we need. So we're out here in the Mesa. I went ahead and traded back at, of course, our base for all the quartz uh we should have enough quartz to finish the of course philadelphia or not no that's not philadelphia that's the new york city mayor's office so i'm thinking we have enough for that and right now i'm out here just mining in our mesa i want you guys to put in the comment section because i'm going to forget and i'm going to you know get lazy about it but we have got to make a nether road out here i have the coordinates and you would think it's easy but you know how the nether is like you can only go like the top certain ways and the bottom certain ways and this is bedrock so we can't go on the ceiling so we have to make a nether road out here and i know this is like episode 91 90 something along those lines i can't remember the exact episode number off the top of my head right now but probably after episode 100 we have to do that and we have to finish like some of the stuff in the nether because traversing the nether is just getting tedious and that's one of the reasons why i don't come out here and i don't build with uh this mesa clay a lot or i guess it's now what terracotta yeah it's no longer clay um so yeah we have to do that we have to finish that project but i'm gonna finish up out here i think i'm just gonna end up with a shulker box of white and a shulker box of regular maybe a little bit more because as you can see it's like two to one ratio that i'm getting it so we can do that we can just dye this stuff white and then i'm gonna try and get a little bit more just for the fact that we need to do it for the museum the colors and the floor so i'm just out here mining uh just you know finishing up and when we get back to m town we're gonna start building and hopefully finish you know two outside builds uh you know maybe not the very very top of the mayor's office but at least get the structure and everything solid <laughs> so let's just keep on mining guys let me tell you i just had an epiphany so there's like you know a debate i guess in minecraft about uh, you know, they should have half slabs for dirt and stairs for dirt and a lot for more creativity and, you know, so on and so forth and blah, blah, blah. So we're going to, you guys know the general argument. I was doing some thinking. So there's like a lot of things in Minecraft that would be like useful, like an actual storm drain or like computer monitors. I've been watching Dallas Med 65 again, and he's been giving me some ideas. And a lot of those things that we could use in the city, we can make. It's Minecraft. Now, I know you guys are like, well, duh, that's the point of Minecraft, right? No, what I'm saying is he's been doing a lot of map art, and uh, his latest episode is about him doing uh, newspaper articles and making, like, a newspaper in Minecraft. And it got me thinking, like, if I want, like, actual, like, you know, things that are in a city, why don't I just make it in map art? And that would be a ton of detail that we could add to our world that would be insane and i don't know why i didn't think of that or you know never come to mind but that's my minecraft epiphany maybe we should have those every episode or I should try to have those every episode because oh i mean that'd be pretty cool but as you guys saw we got all our resources back in m-town and now it's just a matter of stacking this up and then we're going to come back through like i said poke some holes in it you know make it look like an apartment put windows in this will be like the farming district and then we'll have two floors on top and that will be my living quarters it's basically just gonna be a storage room and stuff like that so let's get to placing some blocks well we have a giant tube of white terracotta <laughs> so mission completed so uh yeah guess today's build is done that was pretty easy look bang uh so yeah like i said we're gonna go back through and poke holes but now that I got the basic of this done, and I know I don't have to run back and get more terracotta, which is probably the most important thing, uh, we did actually use a lot. We used almost two shulker boxes, 
not quite this one we didn't touch so basically half three quarters of one and then this one was completely full so we did use a good amount but you know not all of it and then this was just some extra stuff we had left over so i have been smelting quartz while i was building this to get ahead on that so we are going to now finish at least the back part and then we'll start the border part if we have enough we have enough if we don't we don't i'm not going to be too too worried about it the top part so i guess now it's time to buckle down and finish up marty mcmayer's massive mayoral office all right guys so you can hear the familiar washer in the background ruining my audio like normal and who picked that we were going to finish this who picked it uh, because we didn't <laughs> we actually ran out of quartz again and that was a full shulker box of quartz which i'm pretty sure these front two sides didn't take a full shulker box so not sure what's going on and actually there's some blocks that like i just completely left out but uh yeah this is uh taking a little bit more quartz than i thought uh probably should have just traded more but Obviously, I did not do that, and we are into what I like to officially call crunch time for the video because it is Friday evening. Of course, you guys see Saturday morning Minecraft, so we need to buckle down and work on this because that's what we're supposed to be working on. So we did finish majority of this. I guess I'll just do the same thing like I always do, trade up some quartz, and then we just got to slap a floor and some rooms in this. So this won't take too, too long in a parking lot back here. So this isn't a terribly big amount of stuff we got to do it's just stuff we got to do and get blocks and once again quartz is holding us back so note to self i am never going to make a giant build like this with quartz again because we need a quartz factory and i guess in order to make like a quartz factory quote unquote we need hogland trading which means we need to finish our gold farm which i'm pretty sure we did in like episode 40 or 50 like it's been a while since we've done the gold farm but yeah this was our circle box of quartz and as you can see there's nothing left just a few detail blocks and i actually need bricks to continue on just because they're like a placeholder block so uh yeah we don't have any let's just start working on this thing again and you know that nice little break kind of helped kind of like you know reset reset the mood to build uh obviously it's been a couple days because you know i film when i can and uh yeah, I film when I can. <laughs> but uh, I did start the fence over here. Remember, we said we're going to have a privacy fence in the pool. So I started. I'm going to go with this design. And then in between these bars is, or in between those like little pylon things, is going to be metal bars. And I actually don't know if I have any of those guys. Uh, let's see if I have some real quick. Oh, I got one more circle box. Was there some in here? There was not. But I did see some iron somewhere. All right. So what we're going to do, I'll just show you guys here is we're just going to do some of that and some of that real quick and then what i think we're going to do is just like i said a very simple boom 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 and then this here will go like this and that will go like that so just something to break up the design plus i think it looks kind of cool because like you can kind of see in there but it also gives you privacy and yes i am using slabs for this because uh andesite for some reason is a commodity in this world and i don't know why so yeah we just kind of gotta use andesite slabs and stack them up it's kind of annoying kind of tedious but it's better than no andesite whatsoever and then for that one back there i'm not sure what i'm gonna do yet but i'm pretty sure it's just gonna have fence similar to this because for their parking lot obviously they're gonna you know need privacy and security um so let's go ahead and punch out some holes in here of course like set the floors and everything i should have i keep looking in the same chest i should have some scaffolding to actually do this so this should make this go somewhat easier and then we're not actually gonna have floors in this because like i said it's going to be basically just farms so it's gonna be fake floors um but we'll just go ahead and do something with this and poke some holes out so let's poke some holes and then we also have to set the top height because remember I said there's going to be two more floors on top of that of which are going to be my penthouse. So we do have terracotta there and I have white dye. So I'm going to go poke some holes and finally get the height of this building completed. Whee! So thinking K-Dog is back again and I was doing some editing because I'm trying to get this video edited while I'm playing so I can kind of, you know, do both at the same time and be ahead. And I just caught myself saying... I have a shortage of andesite and that got me thinking where is our instamine beacon i mean i know we have one where did it go 
And I know we have a bunch of beacons in this world, but I don't remember where any of them are, which is kind of funny. I know we do have like three over where we face the wither for our wither battles, which we should probably start doing that again for Project Alphabet. But, you know, who knows when we'll get to that. Uh, I'm hoping I have enough black glass. But we used to have some Instamine beacons laying around, and I know there was one close to... You know, I'm going to go see what he has to trade. I know there was one close to us around here somewhere, but I don't remember exactly where. We got anything good. Ooh, I need this. This is for Project Alphabet. Stay here. But yeah, if any of you guys down in the comment section know where our beacons are, uh, let me know. <laughs> because, like I said, I just I just don't know. All right, we're going to fly back into Bob. I should have poked these windows out before I did this. Ah, whoop. Oh, that was close. That was super close. Get back here. Get back here. All right, we need that. And that is this too tall fern of course it's not too tall fern what do we get we get 10 i guess 10 is not bad we go ahead and put that project off of it but yeah i'm gonna keep laying out this glass and uh yeah if you guys know where any of this stuff is you guys let me know because that'd be pretty cool well guys evidently i'm on a roll for a list of things we need but i have been thinking since black dye is such a commodity in minecraft because there's only I mean, there's two sources of black because you can use wither roses, but realistically, we're not doing a wither farm. But something else we should consider adding to this farm, guys, is a uh, farm. This world, guys, is a squid farm. Uh, just quick, simple, and easy because I think squ squawning, squawning, the squawning for spid, the squawning, the spawning for sp squid. Wow. And I talk. But uh, I think the spawning is different than Java. I think these ones only spawn in the ocean and rivers. I think Java is slightly different, but I think we could make a quick and easy farm. So if you guys know of any farms, that would be pretty cool. Also, another ask of you guys is I told you that we were going to start messing around with the uh, armor trims and uh, I just completely forgot. And this episode kind of got away from me and, you know, we're already at the basically the tail end of it. So if you guys have any favorite armor trims or anything like that, uh, you know, hopefully I have it because I think we only found like half of the armor trims. But let me know down in the comments and we can go ahead and play with them and mess around with them in the next episode just to, you know, try them out and see what they look like. So let me finish smelting up this glass. Hopefully we have enough. I'm going to try and stay in the area and also hunt squid simultaneously. Good luck, but uh, we're going to try and get it done and hopefully finish the top of this off. Like I said, crunch time, guys, but I will get this video out on time. Well, guys, I am out here in the ocean collecting a few more ink sacks for us to, you know, keep making the glass. And I found some torches. So these torches are from Xbox One days. And the significance of this is, is we started this world back in 1.16. And of course, 1.17 came out and brought copper and like, you know, it's a whole bunch of like changes to the world and like the deep slate, like odd deep slate. So these actually indicated that we were in 1.17 chunks. And I remember digging down here and there being like copper or something. That's like, that's why there's this random hole here. So yeah, this was the first time we ever found copper. And I do believe we actually still have our first piece of copper in my house, my original base, which was also 1.16. So yeah, pretty cool little piece of lore. I should probably make a sign or make coordinates or something. But yeah, I'm recording this. So I'm actually going to take a picture. And that way I can write it down and put it in our journal. Oh, oh, time is winding down towards the final countdown. It's a song by Europe. It's not the NBA Finals. We are counting down. But guys, I want you to know that in the nick of time, I have completed all the glass so all we gotta do left now all we have left to do now wow is this talking hard is just put a rim on it and put a roof on it and we can actually say we accomplished something this episode because this was a lot of oh boy i ran out of resources and you guys know firsthand that is exactly what happened i love feeling like batman as i come off this thing i'm not gonna lie to you guys this might be the best build ever just for the fact that I can do that. So we are just going to grab some of that and that. This should make two stacks. Yes. So guys, we did not actually finish finish any build today, but we got a lot done at the same time. And I do know episode 100 is coming up soon. I think this is 91. 
like I said, I've kind of been editing in between episode or in between the clips. So uh, we have about nine more episodes before we have to do a world tour. And, uh, you know, like I'm excited to do a world tour, but we, you know, A, need to get more stuff in here and B, need to get some stuff done. And like even just like running around like our old new base, because I guess this is our new new base. Um, there's like a lot of little stuff that's missing that we just never did, like we forgot to put the front on the M Town Museum of Art. And, you know, you don't want to go to an art museum and it just, you know, have half the design because they forgot to build the rest of it, right? Um, and obviously, like, the interior and the work in progress stuff that we're finding. So, yeah, we still do have a lot of work to do in M Town before episode 100, but we need to just keep getting resources. Like, that's literally the secret. Just resources, resources, resources. That'd be cool if a building came all the way through here. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Uh, courts. And then we're going to finish this and build a bunch of farms episode and that. So, guys, be prepared. We're going to finish stuff that we finished in the past three episodes that we keep finishing. And that's what we're going to do. And we're going to like it. So, if you guys enjoyed today's episode, uh, leave a like, leave a comment. And as always... Guys, I will see you in the next episode. I appreciate each and every single one of you. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.